In this tutorial, we're going to quickly touch base on overhangs and lintels using Formance panels. Let's look at this project. We were using Formance panels for walls and roof, and roof panels are spanning approximately 4.8 meters on a selected thickness, and the extent of the 6.1 meter long panel can be utilized as an overhang. If this pan was larger, we might decide for a reinforced roof option using timber splines to support the span. Every second timber spline might actually be containing it out and supporting the overhang, which is also quite an interesting way of doing it. Now the span of the roof panels actually have to be supported with the lintel above the windows. But let's look at the other side. If we didn't use the overhang, if we didn't form the overhang with roof panels, the ending timber trimmer, if this one was continuous over the openings, could actually be utilized as a lintel. Let's have a cross section here. So the closing timber is continuous over the opening, it's actually forming a lintel, and the window can be full height right up to the ceiling. So let's have a look at what we talked about lintels and overhangs. First of all, roof panel can be used to form overhangs. In this instance, lintel actually has to be put out above the window to support the span of the overhang. But if we stopped formance panels on a perimeter and have boundary trimming timber continuous over the openings, then we can actually utilize it as a lintel. Doing this, we actually allow for full height windows right up to the ceiling height. Thank you for watching.